Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Blessed is holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He who heals all our diseases and who has forgiven us of all our sins. Yes, folks, God is good. I greet you this morning in the precious name of Jesus. And on the behalf of Heavenly Light World Outreach Fellowship, I am so glad to be coming into your home, uh, into your homes this morning, uh, with another word of hope, of faith, and uh, of deliverance. And I believe this morning that God is going to do some awesome things in our midst. My wife is not with me this morning. However, um, you might be hearing amen and hallelujah in the background because she's around. And so this morning, we believe that God is going to do some awesome something. Now we've been talking about confronting the darkness. And we have been talking about uh, uh, biblical uh, prophetic uh, words that says that darkness, especially in Isaiah 60, um, shall fill the earth and grows darkness the people and what have you and several other um, um, verses but this morning I want to go a little further and uh, I want to preface what I'm going to be saying by saying to us the church saying to us God's people that God has given us authority power and authority to deal with darkness. <clears throat> Thinking about that, I am so blessed and I'm so elated with great and good news of what God is doing all around the world. We've had good news coming out from the Middle East. Good news coming out from some of those populous nations of the greatness and the goodness and the wonders of God that people are turning to the Christ. We used to call a particular area the 1040 window and that speaks of the darkest areas uh, of the world and we are talking here in terms of the gospel but now, but now, there is a movement, and God is working. So it doesn't matter how dark, how dismal, how terrible it is. God can come through in whatever situations you might be facing and whatever you might be going through at this particular time. You know, when you look at what's happening in Israel, look at those demonstrations, look at those thousands of people in the street, look at Russia, look at the United States, look at Mali, look at other um, nations in France, look at other nations of the world. There seems to be something happening, some things that God has allowed to happen. And God seemed to be putting his hand on certain things at this particular time. And everything is not good, but everything works together for good to them that love the Lord. And I believe that God is causing the hearts of men to be opened unto him. Because men are realizing that vain is the help of man people are more and more coming to the realization unless God comes to our rescue and unless God intervene unless God rescue us we are all will die and it be in lamentation says for the mercies of God we all would have been consumed we all would have been devoured 
But his mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. And so God is, like he said in Isaiah 60, the Lord will arise. Gross darkness, thick darkness, but God will arise. And God is arising in the nations. God is showing himself great. You see, the problem many times is that we can't see. Many times we don't know. Many times we can't, uh, because uh, physically or naturally we can't see it. Yeah. We, 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 we tend to despair. We tend to uh, doubt. But something beautiful, glorious things are happening in the nations of the earth. Mm -hmm. And even though I cannot see it mm -hmm. in Guyana, I know it. Yeah. Because God is a God, a strategic God. Yeah. God is a God of wisdom. God yeah. is a God of power. Yeah. And so we are believing God that there will be a great and a glorious move, not only in the other parts of the world, but even here in Guyana, where men and women will bow their knees and declare that Jesus Christ is Lord, the God of heaven and earth. And so I want to go back to where I started by saying that God has given us power. He has given us power mm -hmm. over all the powers of the enemy yes. in Luke 10. And um, we notice here, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. in Luke 9, in Matthew, in Matthew 10, he says, I give you power and authority mm -hmm. to cast out mm -hmm. devils, not to play with them. Not to fellowship with them. Mm -hmm. To cast them out. Mm -hmm. And when you think in terms of the word cast. You are not talking about. Having any kind of niceties with demons. Mm -hmm. Niceties with uh, devils and darkness. You are talking about mm -hmm. spiritual hostility against darkness. Mm -hmm. You're talking about spiritual uh, anger against darkness. Yeah. You're talking about coming against. You see the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. But the violence. Speaking about spiritual activity. Yeah. Talking about spiritual war. Yeah. Huh? Suffered by but the violence. Hallelujah. Yeah. The, the, the violence shall take it by force. Yeah. It means therefore... That you and I can only take it by force when we understand that we are not supposed to meddle with darkness, play around with darkness. The Bible says God has given us power and authority yeah. to cast them out, yeah. throw them out, mm -hmm. get rid of them. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, apart from that, and to heal the sick, to heal diseases. After the pandemic, mm. after all the political impasse and political upheavals all around the world, what will the church look like? Yeah. What will you look like? Okay. Will you still be able mm. to preach? Would you still be able to cast out devils? Mm. Would you still be able to heal the, the sick? And this would only be possible depending if you have not bow to these darkness and yeah. bow to these spirits. Mm. But you have stood your ground as light as the people of God. And you have allowed the Lordship of Jesus yeah. to take preeminence in and through your life, mm. in your talking, in your doings. Whatever you are involved in, the Lordship of Jesus can be made manifest. Yeah. And so, after everything is done, you see, 
I believe lots of what's going on with the pandemic and everything is that God is wanting to get the church ready to reap this harvest. God is getting the church ready to cast and dislodge demons and devils. Yeah. But you and I have got to be sensitive to the times. Yeah. We have got to understand the times and understand why you are placed where you are placed. Understand why you are positioned where you are positioned. Yeah. Understand why God has placed those folks, those people, those lovely people under your care, under your leadership. Yeah. And so brothers and sisters, this is not the time to, 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 to lie in bed with darkness, mm -hmm. to coexist exist, exist, um, with darkness. Mm -hmm. This is not the time to... Uh, to, re to, 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 to be in agreement to bind ourselves with darkness. Yes. This is not the time. This is not the time. This is a time for us, yes. wherever devils can be identified, to cast them out. Yes. Cast them out. Don't play with them. Don't baptize them. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, 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 pack them. Don't cover them. Don't talk to them. Don't relate to them. Cast them out. Wherever. And so you and I have got this power and authority. Power to push back. Authority to decide. Yes. Authority to speak the word and see it happen. Mm -hmm. And so this morning I'll be casting out some devils. Mm -hmm. Wherever you have been uh, bound or tormented. Last week we talked about cycles in your life, cycles in your church. Mm -hmm. When your church is grown to a certain number, people disappear or a certain problem every time at a certain time. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you can see this recurring stuff in your church, in your family, in your home. Whatever, we are going to cast those mm -hmm. devils out yeah. this morning. Hallelujah. You see, you may say, but you, you, um, you're, not, you're not physically with me to lay hands. I do not have to lay hands. I have authority. Yes. And I've been given the power yes. to push back darkness. Mm -hmm. Whether you are viewing this, uh, th this program in Africa, in Europe, or any part of the Americas. Yes. If you are deciding... That I do not want this darkness. Yeah. I am here to join with you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That name that is above every other name. Mm. That name where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Mm. That Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That name is still powerful. Hallelujah. Yeah. And with that name we have the blood. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the blood shall never, never lose its power. Mm. It reaches to the highest mountain, to the deepest sea. Hallelujah. Yeah. That name and that blood this morning, along with the word of God, will bring damage yeah. to the kingdom of darkness. Mm. And so rise up where you are. And throw off that cloak. That dark cloak. Yes. Throw it off. Because help has come. Help is on its way. Yes. God has given us power and authority. To deal with darkness. Cast out devils. Yes. Cast them out from where uh, they are. And now we notice in chapter, in chapter 12 of the book of Matthew. Verse 22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him. Hallelujah. In so much that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. They brought unto him one possessed of the devil. Possession has got to do with taking control. This man was not himself. He was controlled yes. by this demon. Mm -hmm. His will 
was suppressed. Mm -hmm. He was carried, he was directed, he was led by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. In other words, what he was at the bidding and at the will of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Bible declared it was not oppression, the spirit of oppression, but he was possessed, yeah. controlled. And I don't think we have a problem in the church, the body of Christ. I think we all know about demonic possession. Mm -hmm. We all cast out devils, and we should be casting out devils. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if we are not casting out devils, and if we are not healing the sick, I wonder what kind of gospel are we preaching? Because the gospel has got to accompany with signs and wonders. We see it in the scripture. And once it's the gospel, there will be signs. Once it's the gospel, there will be wonders. Once there is a, the gospel, there will be people who are healed. There will be people who are delivered. Yes. Because you're preaching the gospel. The gospel produces yes. the miracles and the signs and the wonders yes. of God. And so here we notice, there was brought unto him this man possessed of the devil. Once you are a Jesus man, if I want to put it this way, or a Jesus woman, a Jesus yeah. boy, a Jesus God, a Jesus person. Yeah. People will come to you for help. They will bring the sick. Yeah. They will bring those who are possessed by devils. Those who are affected by darkness, they will bring them to you. If they are not bringing them to you, if they are not bringing them to your church, something is amiss. It means that they are not seeing the Christ. They are not seeing the power. They are not seeing something is amiss. Because after this pandemic, we need to see people flocking with all kinds of situations to the church. Because we are the answer and we are the solution to the problems of this world. And so they brought this man possessed with this demon. And the Bible says the demon was, uh, was a blind as well as a dumb demon. Don't let's give it other names. The Bible says blind and dumb. That's enough. That's sufficient. And the Bible says, and that's why it's good for us to be able to recognize yeah. when it's possession. And the Bible says Jesus cast out. Jesus cast out the devil. Jesus brought deliverance to yeah. this man. And this man that was controlled, we don't know how long, mm -hmm. by this demon. This man that was possessed. This man that lost his will. This man that didn't have a say in terms of how his life would go. This same man spoke, hallelujah, and he saw. He saw and he spoke. When Jesus cast out the devil. And so this morning, whether you are physically blind and physically dumb, yes. there is healing this morning. Yes. Whether it is caused by some physical, some natural uh, reason, or whether it's spiritual, whether it's demonic, this morning there is healing in the name of Jesus. I break the hold and I cast those devils out right now. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are hiding, wherever you are undercover, I uncover you and I cast you out this morning. You blind spirit, you dumb spirit, get out. In the name of Jesus. If I were you, I would start seeing. I would begin to speak. But I also understand that there is a spiritual 
implication to this thing too. Yeah. That many persons spiritually allow themselves to be possessed mm -hmm. where they cannot see. Yeah. They have eyes to see, but they refuse to see. Yeah. They have mouth to speak, but they cannot speak. Mm -hmm. They are spiritually blind, spiritually dumb. Meaning even their utterances. To them they believe they're talking and they're making sense. Yeah. But it's nothing close to sense. Yeah. A dumb spirit, a blind spirit. People got to interpret for you. People got to see for you. People got to tell you. You're seeing that that is red. You're seeing that that is green. You're seeing that that is yellow. You see that that is black, but people got to come and tell you what it is. And even when you see that it is black, you know that it is black. And they're going to come and tell you it's white. And you go for that. You believe you are refusing to see because there is a blind spirit. Spiritually, spiritually, <clears throat> you are blinded. And you are dumb because you believe you're making sense. You believe you're talking glorious things. You're opening up your mouth and you're saying lots of, lots of things. And to you, you sound really, really great. Look at me. Look what I said. Look, not knowing that it does not make any sense. And it's a revelation of a spirit, a revelation of something dark within you. Deaf and dumb spirit. And many times this is, it's possible, it can be on the pulpit, it's possible. We are not, we are not talking about outside. The Bible says the Lord cast out those devils. And I cast it out this morning, yeah. whether you be a preacher, a teacher, apostle, prophet, yeah. But whatever you be, I cast the dumb spirit out in the name of Jesus. I cast that blind spirit out in the name of Jesus. And I command you to see. I command you to see. I command you to see. And open up your mouth and speak the word of God. Nothing else but the word of God. Speak. The word of the living God. Now when Jesus did this. Do you know what happened? The Pharisees came. And you got to understand the Pharisees were not considered sinners. The Pharisees were teachers of the law. They were custodians of the laws and of the prophets. Those were religious people. And when Jesus cast out this devil, right away he came under attack. Anytime you touch darkness, there is always an attack. But it's all right. Anytime you touch the devil, there will always be an attack. But you go ahead because you are following Jesus. Amen. You're doing exactly what Jesus did. So they said, you know what happened? He is casting out devil by devils. He is casting out devil by Satan. You know there's something? Character assassination. Yeah. They aim at his... If you do not know who you are in these days, if you are not secure in yourself and secure in God, yeah. I tell you, you will bow at everything. You will move at everything. Yeah. Everywhere the wind blows, you are going to go. But when you are secure in your God yeah. and secure in yourself, you stand your ground, you stand on the word, you do what God says and you only move at the biddings of God. Yeah. 
Because he is the Lord of your life. He is the God of your life. Hallelujah. And so they said he cast in love by devil. And I think it's verse 25. Jesus addressed it. He addressed it from the word. He did not address it politically. He addressed it from the word. He did not address it in some social, psychological way. He addressed it from the word. Hallelujah. You've got to deal with religion and religiosity from the word. Hallelujah. What does the word say? And so Jesus says, look, a kingdom that is divided among itself cannot stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? How then? He's asking a question. In other words, implication there is that the kingdom of darkness is not divided. When the devil has got an especially an important assignment, they all converge. They're all in agreement yes. to carry out that assignment. Yes. They are not divided. That's what Jesus is saying. Satan is not divided. Yes. But Satan's kingdom is intact. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not divided. And so Jesus was actually saying this is not anything to do with darkness, nothing to do with Satan, with Satan. In other words, I don't mix and deal with those stuff. They converge. It doesn't matter the names. It doesn't matter the titles. It doesn't matter what. There is always a conversion of, of, of demonic forces whenever there is an assignment. You see it. It's everywhere to be seen. Doesn't matter where in the world you are. Look for that. They come together. They plot. They go for it. Demonic activities. That's how, they, how, how, that's how the kingdom of, of darkness operates. So Jesus said, if, 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 if it's divided, it can't stand. And then he went on to say, that if I... Cast out, hallelujah. Yes. If I cast out uh, demons yes. by the Spirit of God, verse 28, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Yes. If I cast out demons by the kingdom of God, by the Spirit of God, then is the kingdom of God come to you. In other words, what you have just seen with this blind man and this man that was dumb, this man that was possessed, the deliverance you see there has got nothing to do with darkness because they do not fight against themselves. This is kingdom yes. at, war, at, at war. This is the manifestation of God's kingdom. This is God. Hallelujah. That has come through for this man. And so I cast out demons by the Spirit of God. And when the Spirit of God is at work in pulling down strongholds, in defeating devils, in casting them out, then every demonic a uh, stronghold that has been broken, yeah. every demon that has been cast out, the kingdom of God has come. So we have got to cast out more demons. We have got to dislodge more demons so that we fill the earth with the glory of God. So that the kingdom of God can be felt, can be seen, and can be manifested. In a greater way, we have got to deal with darkness. We have got to confront the darkness. And so, brothers and sisters, he cast them out 
by the Spirit of God. And then 29, he went on to say, this was possible. This is what is implied. This was possible because I enter into the strong man's house. Yes. I am the Lord. I am the boss. I am the God of this earth. I entered into the strong man's house. Or else, how oh, is this possible? How can this happen? But this only happened because I entered into the strong man's house and I bind him. Hallelujah. In other words, I put him to his place and so the devil went out. The strong man, the strong man, the strong man was bound. And we have got to find the strong man in our situation. Yes. You see, we aim at all those, and I'm not um, playing dumb devils here, you know, at little, 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 little manifestation and little, little fruits here and there. But we have got to be able to find yes. the strong man, yes. the cause for, yes. the reason for, why. The controlling factor. Mm -hmm. And so when we find that strong man. Yes. We go at him. We go at that devil. And we bring defeat. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? What just came to my mind? You think, was, you think it's a little hell. Paul went through. You remember we had a series on his journey to Rome. Mm -hmm. Shipwreck. Snake, he went through it so much because the enemy was trying to stop the word of God. Yes. That the word of God is that you're going to go to Rome. And the enemy does not want the word of God to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And you notice they came together. The waters the waves, mm -hmm. the wind, yeah. snake, land, mm -hmm. they all converge yeah. to stop, to prevent mm -hmm. this thing from actually yeah. happening. But God is faithful. Yeah. It took a longer time, mm -hmm. but it did happen. Yeah. It did happen. It might not have happened the way Paul yeah. had envisioned it. Earlier on, but it happened nonetheless. He went to Rome. Mm. And so, brothers and sisters, when I look at the word that Jesus spoke to his disciples, let's go over on the other side. And immediately, immediately, yeah. there was a strong wind. The wind came and worked with the waves. The wave did not say, I'm not going to cooperate with you. The waves also, the water cooperated with the wind, the wind and the waves. So whether it's air, whether it's sea, or whether it's land, they all converge. They all come together. Hallelujah. And, 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 and that's why the Bible says that, 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 that the, the devil, the enemy, that, that he is the God of the atmosphere, the God of the atmosphere, tries to prevent. He works up there. He tries to hold. He tries to prevent. And so we need to understand that we are not standing or sitting or, or walking uh, uh, without a fight. There will always be a fight. But remember, power and authority to cast it out. You got a you got a breakthrough yesterday with your finances. Couple months after, bam, you got a breakthrough with your health. Couple months after, yeah. this happened, and it seemed to be that there is that God, we're not gonna leave her alone. And that's what I noticed in verse forty-three. Mm -hmm. I think is it. When, a de when the unclean spirit is gone out 
of a man. He walks through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. That is Matthew 12, 43. Then he said, I will return into my house. And then verse 45, then he goeth and take it with himself. Seven other spirits more wicked than himself. Yeah. More wicked than himself. Oh my God. When you're dealing with darkness, you need to make sure that you're standing on the word. Yeah. And you have an understanding of the modus operandi, the way they operate, the way they do things. Here we notice, the Bible says that when a demon is cast out, when an unclean spirit yeah. is cast out, he is restless. He goes to and fro. Yeah. He's restless. Must be seen. Must be heard. Must be there. Ma, ma, ma. Restless. Got to be seen. Got to be heard. Got to be moving. Got to be checking here. Checking there. Mm. He's seeking a place. Not satisfied with his lot. Mm. Seeking a place. Seeking a place, seeking a place, seeking a place where he can lodge. And when he can't find, you know what happens? He returns to the place where he was. To that body that he possessed, that he lived in for a while. He returns there to see what's happening, to check it out. And when he returns, and he finds it ready and welcoming for him. No blockage, no stopgap. It's open to him. He comes in, but he does not come in alone. He comes for the kill. He brings seven other demons worse than himself, more wicked than himself. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Anytime and uh, you find that the same thing has reoccurred as happening, many times it's not as, 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 it, as it used to be. It has become worse because seven other devils yeah. have gone in there that make it eight now. Seven other have gone in. And the Bible says they are more wicked and so the situation becomes worse. And that's an understatement. Worse. Because now they are holding on. They come to stay. They come to, uh, to build. They come to lodge. And this is a forever grasp. Yeah. They come for the kill. They are not wanting to get out. But it doesn't matter if they have come back. You have opened up the doors and they have come back. You did not uh, 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 um, close the door and they have entered in the power of God. Yeah. Just like how the, the, the man with a legion of devils were free. It doesn't matter how many God can dislodge devils and demon as a matter of fact mm. god is against darkness and so i remember you know the situation with pharaoh pharaoh the lord delivered the children of israel and they journeyed yeah. and when they reached the red sea mm. chapter 14 of course god Hardened his heart. Yeah. And he sat down and he said, My God, what foolishness have I done? I've allowed these people to go. And the Bible says, He got some of the choicest chariots. And his horses and horsemen. His soldiers. And they pursued. Mm -hmm. We are seeing here a pattern. We notice in verse 43. 
that when an unclean spirit, he goes to and then he comes back to check out. Yes. The children of Israel were let loose. They were set free. But Pharaoh decided, uh -uh. it doesn't matter how far they have gone. It doesn't matter where they are. I am going after them. But anytime you notice that, you need to understand there is a setup. Yeah. God is setting your enemies up. Yeah. Because the Bible says that God destroys them. God drowns them. After Moses said, what you see today, you will see them again. No more. No more. No more. No more. Yeah. No more. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, friends, we have what you call, um, people talk a lot about generational curses, ancestral spirits, mm. demons. Do you know that you can be delivered from darkness, but you can still have darkness in you? Mm. Do you know that you can be delivered from stuff, but you still got some stuff in you? Mm. You can be delivered from dead religion, but you still got those religious traits, spirits, concepts, ideas, darkness in you. And so your action, your attitudes, your doing, they're all based on what is in you. And people around you can't understand. Because you have been delivered from, but you continue to harbor, yeah. you continue to, to shelter mm. those relics mm. of the darkness, those relics of the kingdom of God, of the kingdom of darkness in you. And so you carry around certain perceptions you carry a wrong sort and that's why Paul said in Romans 12 be not conformed verse 2 be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the re he was talking to Christians at Rome he were talking to people who have been delivered by the Lord he was, he, he was talking to people who named the name of Christ. Mm. But they were carrying around a mindset that resembled and reflected the world. Mm. A mindset, a mind that was controlled and influenced by where they came from. That was influenced from where from who they were, dead religion, yeah. spirits still lurking on the inside. And so he said, be not conformed to this world, mm. but be ye what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't let's hold up this revival in Guyana. Don't let's hold up this revival in the world. Yeah. Don't let's stop the move of God in this world by encouraging and harboring and holding darkness within us or around us or among us. But let's deal with this. Let's dislodge devils. Let's dislodge demons. Mm -hmm. Because God has given us the power. Yeah. God has given us the authority. Mm -hmm. And so when we do this, the kingdom of God comes the rule of God comes yeah. and the manifestation of the kingdom will be seen mm -hmm. and will be heard all over the land, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, the earth still remains the Lord. Yeah. And he will have the final say, mm -hmm. whether it be in Israel, whether it be in Mali, whether it's in Russia, whatever it is. Okay. He, in Guyana, he will have the final say. Hallelujah. And many times when you don't understand anything, remember he sits on the throne. I couldn't understand. 
If I were the Jews, I did, you know, I couldn't understand. We were delivered from, 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 from Pharaoh and his arm, and bam, we have not even entered in. And look, here they are at the Red Sea. But God had a plan. God had a great plan. A great plan. And so you and I need to rest in the Lord and understand what you have. Understand what God has given to you. Is it Luke 10? Tells us that God has given us power to tread upon. Serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means hurt you. Use the name of Jesus in your situation. Open up your mouth and speak to that financial issue. Speak to that um, health issue. Speak to whatever is the situation that sickness. You cannot sleep. You're jumping out of your sleep. You're getting out of your sleep. You're having bad dreams. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thought pattern. Thought pattern. Mm -hmm. Perceptions. And all of those things. Exactly. Let me say this to you brothers and sisters. There is a name that is above every other name. And God has given you the power and authority. Deal with the devils. Mm -hmm. Deal with those demons. Let's cast them out. After the pandemic, let's move it together into those buildings. Ready to devour, to, devour, to destroy, yeah. ready to push back, mm -hmm. ready, ready to cast out devils and to heal the sick. And so we've got to be mindful what is tying us up. We've got to be mindful what is influencing us and break ranks. With the kingdom of darkness. And see the light of God. Come forth. And so now right now. Yeah. I take authority today. Mm. The authority that has been given. Mm. To me yeah. as a child of God. Yes. I use the power. That has been given to me. And I push back. Yes. The darkness in every life. Everyone yes. viewing. This broadcast. I push back darkness. Yes. Where it has to do with your health, with your finance, your relationships, whatever. With your mind, yes. your thought pattern, whatever it is. I push back yes. the darkness right now. And I, with the authority invested in yes. me, I dislodge those devils. I dislodge those demons. And I speak freedom to you as yes. an individual. Freedom In to you. you. Freedom to that church. Freedom to you as a family. Yes. Freedom to you as a nation. Mm -hmm. Nation of Guyana. Nations of the earth. The freedom yes. of God. I speak. And so Lord we thank you. Thank you. For this worldwide revival. Yes. This mighty move. Yes. Of your spirit. Because your kingdom come yes. and your will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. People of God, you have power. Yes. You have authority. Yes. Wherever you see them, whether it's in your house, cast them out. Whether it's just cast them out. Deal with them. Yes. And you shall see the rule and the reign of God. And we shall rule and reign yes. with him yes. forever yes. and ever. God bless every one of you. I want you to have a powerful uh, rest of the day. I want you to have a powerful week. Yes. I declare today that you are blessed. You are blessed. Mm. The families of the earth, those who are viewing, you yes. are blessed. Yes. I speak the blessings yes. of the Lord. Because Darkness has been dispelled. I speak the blessings Jesus. of God. And over your nation. You believe in God for a victory. You do believe in God for a miracle. Yes. In your nation. Whatever is it that is happening. Yes. I speak the victory the of God. Of and in my own nation yes. Guyana. I speak the victory yes. of God. Victory of Guyana. Yes. God loves you. Amen. And God 
bless you. Mm -hmm. We bless Guyana. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen.